Oh, you're recording? Okay. All right, boo-boo. Hi, fairy godmother. Sorry, I go eat. Babe party done, had to eat. Kim can't find me. Have her come in here real quick. I'll unfave and refave her to the top. That way she can unfave and refave me. Or I can go do it to her. Never mind, James. I'll go do it first to her off the computer. Hi, very good mother. Sorry, I just had to, to go eat. I needed to eat and I needed a minute to reset myself. Because I was hungry. Pick up to her face. Okay, hi, face. Let me see if I can go find her real quick. Make sure. I don't know why she wouldn't show up. I know I've had Kim fake for a long ass time. I'm gonna unfake her and refavor. Favorite. I 
right, so we're going to get started with Kim Possible. Kim, I'm super excited to hear about your international woman or a woman that means a lot to you. Can we hear your story? Yes. So the person I'm going to talk about is actually Faith. And Love that. And I want to talk about her because she's been an amazing friend to me. We've met twice now, both when we were at Playlist in 2022 and Live Fest this past year. And um, you, she's just been an incredible person in my life. And um, I also, um, I also, uh, she was going through some rough times and you, and she's just a really strong person. And um, I helped save her life uh, recently. She was going through a dark time and I, if it, wasn't for me she would probably not be with us today and so um i just really um look out for her and take care of her because a disability but we're just strong people in the disability community and 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 it's just like a lot of people sometimes take advantage of us or whatnot. And so, you know, I just look out for my people to make sure that no one's taking advantage or trying to take things from us or, or try and talk us into things that we shouldn't be doing or stuff. So I'm just like, I always try and uh, I think she's an incredible incredible strong woman and I know she's going to do great things in life and even through the hard days and the great days she's just got a heart of gold and I know she's gonna do something great with her life awesome that's a lot of kind words I love that <laughs> yes Aww. That's so sweet. Well, it's good. So James Pickler, Pickle Tickler is who you're talking about, yeah? yeah. In the comments. So yeah. if you guys want a favorite faith, that's who she was talking about is Miss Pickle Tickler down there. And they hit Kim with a favorite as well. Uh, Kim, in a little bit of time that we've left with you tonight, can you just tell me like when you're streaming and what people can expect if they come and see you? Thank you, boss baby. Yeah, so um, I'm streaming, like, I'm, I'm going to be streaming for a few hours. Today's actually my four-year anniversary. Yep. Stream anniversary. And um, then I will be, uh, and then I pretty much just end up last when I go live because I have, my schedule varies right now. But I have a bunch of auctions. I'm in Kitty Commander's Fives in a few weeks, or next week, I think. So I'm excited for that. And yeah. You guys, it's congratulations, Kim, on making it four years on these Meet Me Streets. Oh, wow. Our next person up is going to be Fairy Godmother. I'm very excited. Uh, thank you for all the gifts. We have the same shirt on. That's awesome. Trista, my subscriber. Thank you for the cherries. MC, I see you. Are you guys excited? I'm excited to hear what Fairy Godmothers is too. We got one minute. I don't want anybody to miss it just in case they're trying to slide in last minute, you know, to see, hear about International Women's Day. So this is a day wide where uh, is known from, you know, each part of the world where women are celebrating other women. Um, and, and the women in their lives, okay? Uh, a lot of people don't know that every year on uh, March 8th, it is Happy International Women's Day. And uh, it's kind of a big deal. You know, you'll hear about it on the news, uh, in the newspaper. Um, it is just a <clears throat> great day 
uh, to be alive, yeah? So let's get started with Fairy Godmother. Hello, Bobby. Hi, Chris. Hello. Hey, Fairy Godmother. Purr, purr. Oh. <laughs> or should I make you smaller? Me medium? Medium you. Okay, okay, that's better. I feel comfortable with that. <laughs> okay. Good. So you are just get in there. Yeah, um, go ahead. Tell yeah. us tell us the about the important woman in your life or um or if you prefer a historical woman that you would well I'm gonna kind of do a quick mix because um I love history and there have been some amazingly strong female leaders throughout history. Cleopatra, she did amazing things for her culture. It was a golden time. Queen Elizabeth I, Catherine the Great, you know, their countries thrived under these women leaders. And I, and I think that we don't give enough chances to women to take power and lead. I think the person that I'm gonna talk about is my, she was my great aunt, so my father's aunt. Um, I was scared to death of her most of my young life. I was forced to go and stay with her and her husband, who we are 100% sure they were both gay. And because of the time, it was a marriage of convenience. They loved the theater. They wanted a companion, but they were gay and went on their little holidays. So she was Canada's foremost expert on silver hallmarks, gave lectures at universities. She was extremely intelligent, but she never had any formal training. She did it herself. And she started a business during the depression. She made silk lingerie for, um, oh, they were wealthy and they lost all their money. So she had connections through the boarding schools to make this lingerie. So uh, I just, when I, as I got older, um, she helped me. I was a single parent and her dad left them. And so she really understood what I, I you know, I was struggling financially and all of a sudden a check would show up out of the blue from her, you know, and, but literally she scared the bejesus out of me when I was sent over for my elocution lessons. I got stitching lessons. I got silver hallmark lessons. I got, and she was an antique dealer. I got that, I got a cooking lesson, but I was scared to death the whole freaking time. Like she was very, you know, this kind of brusque kind of woman, you know, very kind of masculine, but she was a Julia Child type. So, <laughs> You know, I, I had a perspective of her growing up, but the, the reason I even agreed to it, my dad was insistent, but I only agreed because we got to go to the ballet or the opera on the last night I was there. So I was willing to put up with all of that crap so I could go to see the theater. I mean, that was a huge love for me. But yeah, otherwise they scared me to death. He had a naked picture of... Um, Burt Reynolds up in his bathroom and it was oh. all pink and it was all pink. It was lovely. Anyway, so I admired her and she supported me and I think she really wanted to give me strength to carry on that you can do it without a man. You know, that was the big message that I got from her and she, she was furious at my ex. She wrote him a nasty letter, but yeah, she stepped in. So I have to say that, you know, close to me, someone close to me who really helped me was someone that I absolutely hated as a child. <laughs> yeah. But realized the value when I got older and was in a certain same situation. Yeah. It is. It's life transformative once you're in the same things. You guys, this is Fairy Godmother. She is in the box. If you don't see her, Come back out, go back in so you can see her. Uh, Fairy Godmother, last minute, you have a featured show. When is it? I do have a featured show. It is Saturday or Sunday, God, Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This Sunday's really special, and I'm spread the word. We're doing 
a special recording of this show. It will be used as a promo video and you can spotlight yourself, spam your own emojis, you know, get a little plug for yourself. So you don't have to give, just come show up and yeah, keep it rolling. And I have a fives battle coming up. My first ever battle, I'm scared to death, but thank you to Kitty Commander for giving us the opportunity. So that's on the 16th of March. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay. Well, thank you, Fairy Godmother. And I love, that's, and I love, now I know something a little bit more about you. And uh, I hope you all know something to come Thanks, and talk Kitty. with Fairy Godmother about too. Thank you, Queen. All right, we're moving on to our next person. Uh, is Nashi. Uh, you guys, uh, happy International Women's Day. We're here celebrating women and uh, celebrating. Next is Nashi. Hello, meow. Kitty meow. How is everybody tonight? We're, we're celebrating the women. We are celebrating the women. So, you know, I got to tell you, I had one specific woman in mind all week long. Let's okay. hear it, Nashi. Um, well, we're not going to talk about one specific woman tonight. I decided to change up a little. She's taught me a lot about being a strong woman and, you know, a whole bunch of other things. Um, but I also want to talk, I, I just want to talk about women in general, okay? Because we have the women who inspire us to keep going. It doesn't matter where you're from. You could be from Bosnia, you could be from Canada, from Florida, California. I don't care where you are or in the UK. You know, I, I, for me personally, I have been blessed with women in my life who help build me up, who when you're down, they're there. The ones who maybe I don't rock with so much, but who inspire me to go where I want to be because you know what, if they can do it, so can I. We've got the women who put them for everybody else and, um, and doesn't ask for nothing in return, right? Then we got the women who, 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 who inspire us to be our truest selves, um, like Yoda, or Kitty, or OG Lucky, just to name a few. Fanta, Fanta. Then we have the ones that I really love. The ones who beat our crazy side. Okay. The ones who let us be 120 million percent authentically ourselves. And when we're not, they call us out on it. And if we don't know how to do that, they show us how to do it by how they are. We're going to talk about, let's talk about the women who, even when they're down and they're crying and they're going through pain, stand up and help bring somebody else up. Let's talk about those women, right? Let's talk about the women who sit in the back of the store or the auditorium to not be noticed when they're noticing everybody else. But how about instead of just noticing her, you notice the one woman who notices her sitting by herself in the back of the auditorium, finding everybody else and exploring everybody else. That's who I want to talk about. Here's why these women are important. Because these are the women who every single day, whether or not they know it, touch somebody's life and makes a difference. Rather, you encourage them to get up, keep moving, or you encourage them to keep living, or you just encourage them to laugh at least one time a day. Those are the women that today is about. So it takes many women, and I could talk about one specific woman, but, but uh, I just go to her head, so I'm not gonna do that. So we're gonna talk about all the women, and you guys, you guys are out here inspiring everybody, so keep it. You don't know, but keep going, keep doing what you're doing. We had to cut her off, okay? It was enough, okay? We could, we could be pretty enough. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I love Nashi. I hope you favorited her. If you don't know her, hope you hit her with a fave. Hi, Majestic. Okay, so we're doing International Women's Day today. It is celebrated annually on March the 8th. 
as a focal point in the in the, uh, for women worldwide, especially around labor movements, uh, and equal pay for women for doing the same jobs. Okay, uh, there's a lot about uh, that and about voting rights as well for women um, too. Um, there's a whole story behind International Women's Day. Uh, it really started off as from the Red Cross. So that's something for you guys to learn more about. You can Google more about it later, but I'm celebrating it here uh, with all of you today. Um, we have special guests who are going to be talking to us over the next hour um, about what Women's Day means for them and how they feel about it and what they're hoping to share with you also about it. Um, it could be personal or it could be somebody who's an international historical figure. Uh, thank you, Majestic. Hi, Ocean. Hi, Blue Nails. And if you're coming in, don't think that I don't see you. I'm just letting the people who are sharing speak. Let's see. Miss Kauai, the queen. Let's go. Koi, please tell us about what woman will you be speaking to us about? Yes. So the person I picked is Shikari Richardson. Yes. So Shikari Richardson is the fastest woman in the world. Okay. Uh, she made national headlines. I have my notes over here to the side. So, you know, excuse me, but uh, she made national headlines after qualifying for the 2020 Tokyo Summer Olympics, okay? Um, and she did the 100 meter sprint and she clocked in initially at 10 seconds and eight, 10.86 seconds. Thank you guys. Um, and she was only 21, which is super crazy. Can you imagine like all that fame at that age? Now she did run into a little trouble, okay? She was smoking a little bit of a reefer, which I, I do. <laughs> Um, and she did get suspended for a month, but when she came back, she came back with a bang. And that's when she actually officially earned the title of fastest one in the world. And one thing I personally love about her, the reason I picked her is because she got a lot of negative comments about her appearance, that she looks ghetto or you should change your hair and all this stuff. But she never changed she was ever with all that spotlight on her at such a young age, she stayed true to herself and I love that about her. And she's killing it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so yes, that is, that's definitely my person. I feel like that was a super fast summary. But if you guys don't know who she is, definitely look her up, look up some of her races. Um, she's really, really inspiring and she's younger than me. <laughs> I know, she's half my age more than half my age oh kitty i would have never even guessed ever girl you look good <laughs> can we also mention a certain somebody meow okay kitty she is also such an inspiration on the app okay because i swear i never see you like not smiling and <laughs> like you always have such a positive mood and that's sometimes hard to have on a you know public application i get it on on the internet but you handle everything with a smile and you handle adversity with grace so i definitely gotta give you a shout out too uh, <laughs> and i smoke the reefer as well so maybe ah! there's a, maybe that there's just a thing a thing you know in the world <laughs> Tickle my tonsils is wild. I love it though. But yeah, that's my person, y'all. Shakari Richardson. Make I sure to look that. her up. <laughs> what do you what do you got coming up, Kawaii? Tell us what you've got coming up is for yes. what you got going Oh, that's the tomatoes. So uh coming up, I am hosting a a hot mama auction the Friday before Mother's Day and a they call me daddy auction the Friday before Father's Day. So if you're interested in participating through a mother or father, let me know, hit me on my DMs and I will be in Travel Base Rose auction at the end of April. That's all I got for oh, now. Oh, I have a featured show, duh. Oh no, Jen wears Mondays. Uh, I tried, I tried to remind her. I tried you guys. Uh, that was Kauai. I hope you hit her with a favorite. 
got a chance to meet her. Um, Leon, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, MC. Thank you, Blue Nails. Our next person is Kat. I'm so excited to hear what Kat's got to say. Hello, Kat. Hello. Kat, please tell us about either your personal woman that you wanted to share with us or your historical woman, whichever it is. Please tell us all about it. The personal woman that I have chose was my grandmother because to me, she's very brave because she's gone through a lot, and I mean a lot, but she um, pushed through it just for the sake of me and my dad, and she really inspires me to just keep going for people. Wow. So what, I mean, uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the things that she faced and encountered? Um, she's faced things like family deaths or sicknesses she's had or just drama in the family um and she also might have gone through like depression and stuff and I have too so it just inspires me to keep pushing through even when you have dark times yeah yeah definitely there needs to be somebody who you've seen help make it through the dark times so that you know that there can be light times again. Yeah, I agree. So how old is she now or is she passed away? Um, she's still with us. Um, she's in her 60s. Oh. <laughs> I can't, I can't think of actually like the exact number, but. <laughs> I'm excited for you. So, I mean, so there could be three generations like Cat Senior, Cat Junior, and then Cat Junior Junior eventually. Eventually. Wild. All right. So, um, Cat, what else do you have going on on the platform? Um, nothing much that I can think of. Um, but I do have one thing coming up that I'm starting to create. It's called Cat's uh, Light Fest. It's just a night stream of like a bunch of lights, like LEDs and stuff, and just chilling with music and me playing my bass guitar at some point. So. Oh, like the Aurora Borealis? Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. Okay. Mm, very zen, yeah. Okay. And then do you have a five bottle coming up? No. Do you have uh, any auctions? No. Well, I'm just checking. I didn't want you to forget anything. You have an Instagram though. Yeah. Yeah. It's linked in my bio. Okay. You guys hit cat with a follow. Go follow her Instagram as well. Her amazing woman is her grandmom. And uh, that's very appropriate. That's a love, lovely tribute to your grandmother, Kat. 100%. I love that. Woo! I mean, I'm not a grandmother yet, but one day I hope <laughs> my kids, uh, kids as kids may will tell Kitty or, you know, Grandma Kitty. <laughs> Hi, Charm Charlie. So our next person is Blue-Eyed Hippie. I don't see her around. Uh, so this might give us a small interval. Alexa, play Who Runs the World? <laughs> Tickles! Alexa, play Who Runs the World's World? I couldn't find that on Amazon Music. Oh, this is just a one time per year, Blue Nails. Alexa, play Who Runs the World? Gigi? What's a Gigi? By Beyonce on Amazon Music. I had to go get something to eat. I was like, I feel in a little bit better mood now that I've ate. You know what I mean? Not the Gigi? Grandma? Oh. Chris. Thanks, Chris. Chris is like, let me help you out. Okay. You guys are better at this than I am. 
I'm not mad about it either. We've got like five minutes to 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 talk. To talk about amazing women. So let me tell you about amazing women in my life. While I eat this French fry. <laughs> so some of the amazing women on this app in my life that I rely so heavily on for my sanity is OG Lucky. Uh, she's not only one of my closest and best friends uh, here on the platform, but also off the platform. Um, uh, there's times when we drive each other crazy, I'm sure of it, but I still appreciate her so completely for being there for me through my, not only just uh, my streaming journey, but also through my life's ups and downs. And she does this all while also battling cancer herself and it's long-term cancer. And, you know, I just think that this is, this is an incredible woman in my life that I'm blessed to know that I'm thankful for having in my life and that uh, I would never ever trade her for anything, you know, um, at all, ever. So uh, I appreciate her. You'll know, you'll find her on my gifters list, yes, but you'll also find her in my phone. Uh, right underneath my contacts so that part as well you know uh, so she's one of the amazing outstanding women in my life that I'm super thankful for hi Rob meow divine hello thank you hello Miguel so now she may not be everybody's cup of tea but she's certainly my cup of tea so there's that part as well oh I do love the good listener She's coming up as well. And let's see, who is our next well, person I'm going to talk about? There's a couple people I'm going to be talking about throughout the night about women. Thank you, Rob. We got uh, East Marsh is coming up next uh, as well. And he's going to... Now, OG Lucky, she's been streaming on the platform for over three years as well. You know, that's wild. You know what I mean? Uh, she's been she's been there for a long, good amount of time now. Uh huh. I need to. I was just looking here. Ooh, hi Jacob. Love that for me. So we're gonna Culver's. I know. I told you. I live in Wisconsin. Culver's is. Uh, I went out to Culver's. I didn't cook anything because I wanted to diet Pepsi or I wanted to diet Dr. Pepper. They have one where you're at. Where are you at, Kickles? Do you have cancer at this time? Do I blue nails? But I wouldn't tell anybody if I did have cancer right now. Anyways, you're in Florida. Oh shit. Hi, Big Judah. I'm a very private person about a lot of things. You have, oh. <laughs> I go shy town. But OG Lucky has been fighting it for years. I'm super proud of her. Very good. Very good. And then we got the Ace March. She hates the Chicago Bears. I'm sorry, Tickles. She's a Packer fan, 100%. Well, you should really know my friend OG Lucky. For real she's one of the most like incredibly like inspirational women if she talks about it like it's hard 
you know, sometimes she she won't talk about it. As you can imagine, like, oh no, somebody who doesn't want to talk about their journey, oh no way, really? So sometimes she'll, she will and sometimes she won't. Oh, we've got Ace Marsh. Let's see what Ace has got to say. Oh, lots of new people. My favorite him. Hello, Kitty. Ace, I'm here to find out about the woman in your life, the the woman that you want us all to know about, or <laughs> the historical woman that you find to be like super important that you want us to know about and why. So I'm actually going to speak on two women. Uh, they're very similar, um, and the love I have for both of them is is immaculate. Uh, the first one I'm going to speak about is my mother. Um, you know, I'm an only child. I am her only kid. She is my only mother. She has been there for me since day one. Um, without her, I would not be the man I am today. With Without women, we would not be men. So I, I shout out to all of you. Happy International Women's Day to each and every one of you, especially the mothers, um, you know, and the and the protectors and providers for, for whether it's their kids or someone else's. Um, I appreciate you, ladies. Men, take care of the women. You know, uh, to the ladies out there, we're not always the best. We make mistakes. Give us time we will get there work with us um but my mom has been such an inspiration to me she's always been there protecting me she's she is my best friend and uh you know it's it's nothing but love for her the second woman who you know she resembles my mom in a way with the way that she treats me in in a sense of love and has power uh behind her her, her emotions when when it comes to me um and that's uh, another fellow streamer on here she's also my girlfriend uh pocahontas so please hit her with a favorite um she's she's been there with me for the last eight months um been nothing there but nothing but there on my side by my side the entire time and you know i've got i've got nothing but love for her and so i just want to do a shout out thank you thank you everyone for the gifts i just want to do a shout out to her as well um and i love you babe thank you um shout out to all the ladies out here thank you for letting me be a part of this i'm just speaking off top of my head and out of my heart so i want you to know that this is all real genuine talk um for any for anyone that doesn't have me favorite please hit me with a favorite all all races, genders, and everything is welcome in my stream. So, um, you know, you always have a safe place here. But today we're focusing on the ladies. So, Kitty, a shout out to you for being an amazing top badge, um, you know, influence and role model on here for ladies and for men. Um, and I just, I just want to say thank you for that. So, I didn't speak for the whole three minutes, but that's all I've got to say. I appreciate y'all. I don't know if there's any questions you want to ask or anything like that, but. I do. I have some questions. Like, uh ace do you have any content that you know everybody's over here to hit him with a favorite what kind of content do you have coming up that you can share with us in the i'm last actually i actually interrupted which is the best interruption ever because it's for the way a way better cause but uh, my fave party which is every friday i have a fave party from 5 p.m right until 11 p.m we have live djs currently dj yaboy is spinning in my stream right now so we're going back to get him back in the box um, after that, we've got DJ Starboy coming. Uh, we might have a little intermission in between, but come get your faves up. Come hang out, guys. My stream has been crashing, so I don't know. Um, other than that, I got a featured show Fridays as well from 4 till 5 before the fave party. And we got some other cool events coming up. But, guys, I just want to let you all know one thing. Shout out to the ladies. Take care of your ladies. It's International Women's Day. You are all are amazing. You're all beautiful you, inside and out. And without you, we would not be the men we are today. Thank you for having me, Katie. <laughs> it's his he's very incognito with his like lens glasses on um okay so you guys just met ace marsh i hope you hit him with a favorite if you've never met ace before he's got stuff going on in his stream as well you can follow his instagram get to know him as well um our next special guest is emoji j and so emoji j is going to be our next special guest if you're just coming in we're doing this hour around international women's day where streamers all from all over the, the world and all over the United States as well are talking about people, women in their lives that are special to them. And they're also or telling us about a historical figure or somebody who inspires them and why they inspire them. 
So we've heard of, about a lot of amazing women in people's lives so far today. We're going to hear a lot more in the next half an hour. So if you want to go grab some popcorn, sit down in a soda, you'll probably really enjoy um, hearing about everybody's special day. Hi, Michelle. Hello, Marcosio. And I got you, Jay. Ray. Why am I echoing? Oh, I don't know. I'm Why don't you hear me echoing at all? It's because I'm in your live. Hold on. There we go. Say something. Hello, Jay. All right, good. No more echo for me. All Jay, right, cool. Please tell me about your amazing woman in your life uh, or an inspirational woman in your life or a historical figure that inspires you that's a woman today on well, Internet. Well, I, I, don't, I don't have any histor historical women or... um. The other, the only inspirational woman, well, amazing woman rather, is Capgirl because me and her are dating. Um, but not, 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 she's not a historical woman and she's not, uh, I mean, inspirational, maybe. She keeps me on my toes and keeps me in line and keeps me in check when I'm messing up and stuff. But, uh, you know, gives me, gives me, helps me out and uh helps me uh basically gets the things done that i need to get done rather and not to procrastinate on things that makes sense okay so she helps you keep your times uh your timeline right jay and yeah. uh, and she inspires you it sounds like to be a better man is that right pretty, pretty much in a nutshell yeah Okay, that's, I love that. Much it. I couldn't think of anybody in history, and I couldn't really think of an inspirational speaker or whatever. So there you go. It's Cap Girl for my for my woman for tonight. I almost feel like we're listening to Romeo. Oh, Romeo, where art thou, my Romeo? I'm Romeo. dead. Cap Girl, oh Cap Girl, where art thou, my? Cap I mean, I could hear. I could put this on too. There you go. Since it's you know in, in International Woman Day, I'll be a woman for the next minute. Not the, you, uh, okay. I think it's <laughs> all right. Whatever. Um, Emoji J, do you have any content coming up that you could share with everybody? Um, content. Um, not well. I have my show. It's on Sundays, but that's being postponed because I'm in the process of moving again. Um, let's see. Con Content in auction, uh, Vampy's dance auction. dance auction. I don't dance, don't worry about it. Uh, but I'm in it. I'll attempt to dance, I guess. Uh, my time is at seven o'clock. Sorry, I had to look at that flyer really quick. And then I'm in um, Trevor uh, No Bro Worlds auction. Trevor No Bro, no Bro, geez. No Bro Worlds auction uh, on the 14th. Um, that's at seven o'clock as well. So. Okay, so you got a lot of stuff coming up as well. A lot of uh, auctions. I'm yeah. I'm being a filler for people basically. So if anybody needs me or wants to use me, feel free to message me and use me. I'm all about Never being not. used. If you I need uh, also graphics or web design done, message me and recorded shows done, message me. I don't know what else to say. Hi everybody. Uh, Hi mom. Bye mom. Bye emoji J. Thank you. Bye, bye kitty. Was emoji J uh, sharing with him his uh, thing on uh, the woman in his life that is special to him. He got very romantic. Arr! MC, thank you. If you're just coming in, we're doing Women's Day today. We've got about mm, seven more people left. Uh, I'm thinking that, uh, let me see what, uh, uh, see if I can find this other message here. Okay. Yeah, so I'll be talking about one other woman who's special to me. Cajun Queen, hello meow. Um, during the next, we're going to do this little next break, I think, here. Um, it looks like, sadly, La Toxica is not going to make it today. 
um, on this show. So I'm going to talk about um, another woman on the application uh, that is important to me that uh, I have friendship with and that I personally adore as well. Uh, her name is Good Listener. If you are not a fully aware of who Good Listener is, uh, go up to my leaderboard and go and click on her name and favorite her. Um, Good Listener goes by this little uh, red telephone. Uh, she keeps it as her emoji and she is from the UK. She's a streamer from the UK. Um, but she's also an incredible, um, both as a streamer and as a person in life. You know, uh, we, we talk about women who inspire us to hold things together, uh, that have multiple balls flying in the air, that they're juggling multiple roles as mother, as, uh, as business, uh, as, as streamer, as friend, as uh, as a chef, as laundry maker, laundry cleaner, we you know all of the things that involve going into creating a home as a house, a home, and um, also then coming and being a streamer on the platform as well, laundry maker, laundry cleaner, whatever you call them, you know I don't know. Um, <laughs> You know, whatever it might be. The whole point is, is that uh, when when women are are busy and they're wearing one as a worker, one as a homemaker, uh, all of these different. Sometimes as lovers of, you know, you. I'm very impressed always about the multiple hats that women can wear and about all of the different things that women are trying to consistently balance in their lives um, and to keep all of the people in their lives loved and cared for and happy and um, all of this deep, deep energy that goes into trying to keep keep all of it together. You know, I'll, I'll be forever thankful. Um, it's three minutes, Skit. Um, I want to be for I'm forever thankful and grateful uh, that uh, that I have I have um, these people in my life. Um, and I mean, what can I what can I say? You know, I'm very thankful for good listener. I hope you favor her. I hope you go check her out. She usually streams at on uh, the end of the contest. If you want to catch check her, catch her. You'll also wait until the very end of the contest, and you might end up seeing a dragon show too. If you get very lucky, you may see the the master dropper of dragons, Tanmoy, drop uh, the dragons and unleash the dragons. So uh, <laughs> that might be a thing as well. So. Uh, anyways, uh, she's an important woman in my life. Her, she, she has kindness, compassion. She's done a lot of things to help people on the platform um, and helped promote people and given people a lot of uh, good advice as well. So that's also an important thing to me. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Let me uh, go in on her stream um, and see. I had this problem earlier too. I think there's a glitch on the app. I'll go into her stream and uh, unfavorite and refavorite her. I had to do this with Kim as well. And I know that I have these women favorited. So sometimes just. No, no, I I do have her favorite. It's sometimes the app glitches and it, people just don't show up. You just got to unfave and refave them. Let me let me just go in and do it. I don't know. Maybe like this. I unfaved and refaved her. I don't want her to think that I didn't. 
have her favorited because I did. <laughs> All right, let me see if she see, shows up now. She should show up now. Does she show up now? I don't know. I got a lot of faves. Ah, now she does. Okay, here we go. Good. Yay. Oh, sorry about that. It's okay. <laughs> it happened with Kim tonight too. I just think sometimes it just, I don't know. I think sometimes my stuff just goes away after a period of time or something. I really don't know. I got a lot of people favorited. <laughs> I know. I, that's what I said. I know I've got her favorited. So like that part. So sometimes I don't know, whatever. Anyways, back to you. Um, I want to know about who this special woman is that you want to talk about today or what historical woman that you want to talk about that's important to you in your life xoxo mama um please let us know so i actually have three and i couldn't narrow them down because they're three very important people to me um two of them is my grandmother's one on my dad's side and the one on my mom's side um my grandmother on my dad's side was a red cross nurse she worked for the Red Cross for probably 50 years until she passed. I mean, she was working there up until a couple of days before she passed away. Um, and so she always taught me what it meant to give back to people, especially when you have a kindness in your heart to want to help others. Um, so that's the first one. Um, the second one is my grandma on my mom's side. She was actually an Indian. Um, she was owned by slave owners that owned Indians in North Carolina. Um, she went through a lot of traumatic experience and she taught me what it meant to be strong um, and how to overcome circumstances that you are given. So, and then the third one is my best friend and she's younger than me, but she still inspires me every day and that's Kauai. Um, we became really close on this app. Um, I really didn't have many friends when I got on this app and I don't have anybody that lives near me. Um, so she taught what it taught me what it meant to have people be there for you no, through no matter what. Um, she's very strong, very independent, um, and probably the best aunt I could ask to my girls. That means, um, and I couldn't ask for any better friend. yeah I, I mean i love that i love all i love every piece of it you know like uh so I, you're surrounded by a, a sounds to me like you've had really strong and amazing women in your life on a both a personal level and in your private life you know and that's really incredible um please tell me a little, little bit about what you do on the app um, so I am an advocate for mental health. I do mental health shows a lot of times during the weeks. Um, and I'm an admin for Donna and Kauai. So I just like to be in the background. Mm -hmm. And then during your mental health shows, what do you talk about? men go through a lot of mental health just as much as women um, and just building people up for them to have a safe place to talk. So if you're here and don't have XOXO Mama favorited, please send her with a favor right now um, and go check her stream out. Uh, Mama, like, that was really flattering and super sweet of her. All right, our next person is Love and Life. I seen her come in. Hello, Love and Life. Hi, Bella. Hi. Love and Life. I'm so excited. Yep. Please tell me about the amazing woman you want to share with us. So uh, the amazing woman I want to share with you is, um, I have two actually, uh, my mom, um, and then also my aunt. So um, my mom uh, is an amazing woman. Uh, she's very strong, very beautiful. Um, I watched her 
um, raised me by herself, <laughs> you know, and she did an amazing job. She was so strong. She worked so hard. And she instilled that in me, I believe, to be the person that I am. Um, she was very um, structured in some type of way. Um, so she, you know, we had to order, we had to go to church every Sunday, Wednesday, every time church was open, we were there. <laughs> um, so, and I'm grateful for that though. I'm grateful that she installed that into me. That way I could pass it on to my, my children, um, uh, and my family, because I think that's very important to have a relationship with some higher power, whatever you choose to believe in. Um, and then also, uh, my aunt, she, um, helped, um, also, you know, cause she didn't have any children. I think it takes a village to raise a community. And so she um, she helped also instill um, like the business sense that I have. She's a business owner. Um, so I'm, I'm very grateful for that. And then also um, I wanted to say that my, uh, as I, I shared before, but my mom, unfortunately she did pass away last year with cancer. Um, and I watched her um, struggle with that. She was diagnosed in October. And then she passed away in May, so it was very fast, and she was so strong. Um, this is the strongest person I ever met in my life, and she always had a smile on her face, even through everything that she had to go through. She never stopped believing in God. She never stopped having a passion and love for everybody in our family, and she never stopped caring, even though she was in pain. So her bravery and her strong and her strength is something that I keep close to my heart, and I want to pass on to my kids, and um, she's, both of those women are just amazing. <laughs> And I'm grateful for them in my life. Yeah, no joke, right? That's like big, big, truly, truly an amazing testament of how a woman's love and the and as she's carried her love, um, even to her, even literally to her grave. You know, uh, love that love in life, um, love that you've had in a woman like this in your life as well. Um, tell us a little bit about you real for let's maybe a minute about what you're doing and where people can find you, what you're doing on the app. Yeah. So, um, I stream, um, uh, usually on late night, um, cause I have to, you know, go to work and things like that. So, um, so I usually stream late at night and then on the weekends. Um, so I'm going to start because I love to sing. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I love to sing. So I'm going to start like a, I know people like karaoke night. So I'm going to start my own again. I used to have one a long time ago when I was first on the app. So, um, so I'm going to start that. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I have going on on the app right now. Yeah, I love that though. Uh, it's a good time to restart and think about where, where you want to do and what things that you want to get involved in. For sure. And um, I think that you had amazing women that are have been part of your life. And you're lucky to have had incredible women in your life like that as well. Um, I'm so happy you've had that in your life too. So awesome. I am too. I'm blessed because I know not everyone has that. Um, I say it's an honor or privilege to have strong, beautiful women um, in their lives to show them and guide them in life. So I'm very grateful. Facts, 100%. All right, Queen, well, thank you so much. Uh, we you. will see you again on yeah, these thank you. streets. Have a blessed day. You guys' favorite love in life, We we she's, she's literally is doing what her name says. She's trying to live and love her life. And I'm, we're here for it. We love a good, we love that, love that. You know, love and life, you bet, 100%. Okay, 100, 100%. Um, ooh, big wheel money. Thank you, thank you, love and life. Um, our next special guest is Top Badge Mesh. Uh, Top Badge Mesh, we're getting down to our last four people of the night. Top Badge Mesh, Top Badge Queen Bella, Cajun Queen, and Top Badge S to wrap up our happy, International Women's Day Celebration Hour. Thank you, Love and Life. Um, where women kind of came across the app and different men on the app and talked about the women in their lives uh, that are special to them or historical women who have inspired them from 
um, from a perspective uh, in their life, uh, whether uh, they're famous or not famous, it doesn't matter. We are here to hear all of it and find out why it's important to them and who's been important to them in their life. And Hello, Mesh. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Kitty, thank you so much. Thank you so much uh, for uh, giving me uh, a platform to remember and uh, celebrate an amazing woman of legend, uh, quite notably having works in film regarded as one of the most, uh, the greatest of screen legends. Uh, she's won two Academy Awards and a Golden Globe. But more notably, and that's what I'd like to speak of on, is her award for uh, her humanitarian efforts in the fight against AIDS and, and HIV. And I'm when it was uh, very little unknown and accepted in the Hollywood uh, scene and just worldwide, this amazing beautiful, talented, smart, witty legend stood front and foremost um, in our battle against, uh, you know, stigma, the stigma that was attached to AIDS and HIV. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce a little bit more on Miss Elizabeth Taylor. Uh, she was known quite newly her um, well-known popularity around uh, uh, Hollywood to further the cause. And uh, I believe it's because of her efforts, one of um, the, the people who was in the forefront of this movement, that it was um, taken and it moved differently. She wrote to President Reagan and his wife to appeal to them personally to be a part of uh, events um, to fundraise for AIDS and HIV. And we want to thank and acknowledge that not only was she an amazing actor and uh, stunningly beautiful, but it was her works that we are going to remember her for today. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you have not had a chance to read up on all uh, her efforts and have been able to check out her foundations that are still lasting as we speak, please go and research uh, Elizabeth Taylor. And uh, that would be my end. But I have one last thing about Elizabeth Taylor. For me, Elizabeth Taylor in of itself was one of the most important and iconic roles she ever played. Thank you, Elizabeth, for all the memories and for your work and contributions. Thank you, Kitty Commander. Yeah, incredible, incredible woman in history, uh, known more, more so people make Elizabeth Taylor into a joke with her many husbands and lovers, but she was an incredible advocate and an activist. Uh, 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 she used her platform and her power for change. Yeah. Thank you, Kitty, for giving the opportunity. Thank you. It. Now you know something a little bit more about Elizabeth Taylor. All right, our next person is Queen Bella. Let's see if Queen Bella is online or if she's in the streams. Let me go see if I can find her. My favorites list is so long now. It just keeps getting longer. <laughs> it just keeps getting longer and longer hmm. i don't know if i'm gonna find it um uh, maybe she's i don't know if she's here yeah she um, she's got a minute to check in we'll we'll see um so if you're just coming in welcome in saint japan don carl welcome in this is the happy international women's day celebration we are celebrating women on Women's Day. We only have three more people left. 
um, Cajun Queen. Uh, Queen Bella. So let's find out. If, I don't know. I don't see if Bella. Let's see if she's around. Alexa, play Who Runs the World's Girls. Run the World Girls by Beyonce on Amazon Music. Uh, I don't see anything. I hope she's okay. I don't see anything here that she's not able to make it. Uh, but I hope she's okay. Um, whatever it might be uh, that held her up. I'm a little concerned because she usually doesn't. Uh, so hopefully she, everything's okay. So I will take this as a moment again to share with you another woman um, that's important uh, to me here on the platform. Um, that person's uh, name is quite frankly, quite frankly, uh, Nashi. Uh, Nashi has uh, been often on the app. Uh, the first time she was on the app, and then she took a break away from the app, and then she's been back on the app again now for over just coming up on a year. Um, she's a huge uh, light of my my happiness in terms of as a person, as a streamer. She's also a huge cheerleader, um, incredibly intelligent, witty, and funny. Um, she makes me laugh. She makes me smile. She makes me giggle. And sometimes she makes me want to uh, claw people up on her behalf, you know, uh, all of these things uh, as well. So if uh, you don't know who Nashi is, she she is, um, you know, streaming here. She's got a featured show on Sundays at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So proud of her progress that she's had in the last year. You know, she's she will say, you know, uh, she's putting in a lot of work as a streamer, um, trying to provide good content here on the app. But uh, outside of the app, she she works. She's a mother. Um, she's she's in you know working in business. She's working as a parent. Uh, she's streaming. Uh, she's a she's a friend. Uh, all of the different roles. Once again, uh, I like to straight. I don't know if you've noticed this about me as a person, but I like to surround myself with independent, strong, opinionated women. <laughs> like, I have one more woman that is also strong and opinionated as well. Her name is Kraken Whips. Okay, uh, this woman is incredibly fierce and opinionated, and I love every minute of it, okay? Uh, I like people who have opinions, and even if they're, as long as they're polite or respectful about it, I'm all for it, you know? Uh, she also has a featured show here Sunday uh, nights called Into the Paranormal, I believe it's called. Uh, or paranormal. Uh, I don't know exactly the title. It's, it's paranormal. That's what I know. Uh, her name is Kraken. Um, I've been a, a huge, huge fan of hers into the unknown. That's what it is. Not the paranormal. It's she talks all about the paranormal. Thank you, Retro Game Steve. Um, she's she streams late at night on the app she's also a mother she's also working she wears all of these hats and she's streaming on the platform she's producing content quality content for people here on the platform as well and i'm very impressed by her because she, once again, she's another incredible woman who's wearing so many hats and putting out quality content, quality streams for everybody. 
And I just love that. I love that. So, you know, so far I've gone over OG Lucky, Good Listener, Nashi, and Kraken. And next is going to be Cajun Queen up here for um, International Women's Day. So, and then we only have Top Badge S left. And then we're going to wrap up our happy International Women's Day celebration. See, thank you. Welcome in, everybody. Um, and then we're going to wrap it up. And then I am going to go celebrate international women in a couple other places. And then I will come a little bit back later on tonight streaming again. Um, but uh, th that's the, the, this is the, the moving and the shaking that we're doing around today. Uh, I, I hope you enjoyed hearing other women's stories, other men's stories about women that are special to them as well, too. So I know that that's super special to me as well. Thank you for the favorite. Um, we've got Cajun Queen up next. Let me see if I, she sent the verses over. Uh. I don't know if she's taking the verses and she just not around. I don't know where she's at. TNT, thank you for the favorite. She's supposed to be streaming, so I don't know where she is. Give me one second. I'll try to see if she's what she's doing here. Why does I don't know. I don't know why she. I can't hear her. It, I did send it to her already. Hmm. I'm gonna just. All right, I'll try it again. There, it worked this time. That's good. Oh. Hello. Oh. KJ, please yeah. tell me about uh, your special woman or your woman in history that has special meaning to you and why. Okay, so I'll talk about my mama. Yeah. Like my mom's mama. She was like, like the one person that you could always count on and she was always like uplifting and she was always trying to teach you something and i don't know she just kind of she kind of like instilled in all of us kids to leave people placing it people places and things better than they were when you found them oh. so that's just kind of like that's just like my motto i guess that's and i get that from her so yeah just leave people, places, and things better than they were when you found them. I know that's right. I mean, they, in a world where people uh, can easily destroy things, there's a lot of places that people can change things for sure. Um, what are some of the other lessons that she taught you? Well, she taught me how to pickle stuff. <laughs> <laughs> she taught me how to put how to put stuff in in mason jars and can them you know so we learned we learned how to do that she taught me how to how to plant uh flowers and make them grow in the ground you know all that kind of stuff 
And then she used to like she used to like to go outside and go for walks in the woods. So we would go in the in the woods and she would teach us which trees were which and you know like what the leaves were for this one. We had to pick it out. She would give us each a leaf from a different tree and we would have to walk up to the right tree that belonged to the leaf. Wow. Yeah, she would play like stupid stuff like or not stupid stuff, but stuff like that with us, you know. She was three quarter. She was three quarter Indian, so she was always having home remedies for everything. I mean, like I guess I, I, guess I learned a lot of that too. I'm really impressed, though. So you know, so basically, you guys, you know, you learned a lot from her just about how to be, but also um, who picked a booger? Who me? <laughs> she picked a booger. She didn't have to. She taught you how to pick a booger. The good for you, John. I'm a teacher. Glad I'm, that, over John. <laughs> I'm glad that John has picked his boogers or whatever he's talking about over there. Yeah, uh -huh. um, he better he better stop stop worrying about boogers. He he he's just I don't know what he's talking about. Oh. Holy hell! Look at that. Uh -oh. Greg Scott Band's drive-by. Somebody beating us up. Why are they beating us up? They're giving us. <laughs> Is this some kind yeah, of Greg Scott Band's drive-by? Uh, Is it the bro game drive-by? <laughs> <laughs> Did I just get shot up during the Women's Day? This is getting hey, wild I over like here. Tomatoes. I like tomatoes. Uh, Haley, please favorite all the gifters. Uh, we'll, I'll go through and favorite all of you who gift me for sure. Uh, hey, <laughs> you guys crack me up. I'm like, is this some kind of Greg got bands drive by? Is, is this what we're, you guys crack me up. Oh my God, let's get wild. Oh my God. Thank you guys for all the gifts. Okay, drive by. Ah, shit, I need to record this. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, wait, I need to record this. What? What the heck? These things are going to Like, ooh, it's the party. Broke gang drive by, broke gang drive by. Ooh, ooh, purr, purr. Hey. Things are just going off up in here. Holy crap. Hey, everybody, make sure you always favorite everybody here in the comments. Uh, you're, this is an opportunity for you to bust up the faves for real. Ooh, oh my goodness. Hey, it is Mr. Bob's birthday today. Brrr, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Greg. Brrr. Oh my God, thank you, Pretty. Oh my God, thank you, Dawn. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Spicy. Thank you, KK. Oh, thank you, OG Lucky. Thank you, Sarah. Oh, you guys, you guys really like me. Oh my God, you guys like me. <laughs> Oh shit, things are getting wild. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Oof. They just keep going, these people. Is this a this was a this is a bro gang drive-by? They're like shooting me up. They're like pow pow pow. Oh my gosh. Ooh. 36.6 loading. Thank you, King Flip. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Please your favorite all of you, all of the people gifting it in my chat. Much love, uh, Greg. You know you make me laugh. You, trust me, it's a it's a blessing to be able to laugh, and you do it in a very funny way. It's clever. It's funny. I personally can get behind that. You know, ooh, castle. Hey, <laughs> 36.6. Thank you. Thank you, Bro Gang. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, T and T. Thank you, everybody. 
Thank you, Prentice. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, guys. Ooh, this is International Woman's Day. I feel like he came running up on. Ooh, he came running up on Kitty on International Woman's Day. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> broke gang took. Well, I'm gonna put broke gang <laughs> behind my name. It'll just be broke gang. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty six point six broken. Actually, it's gonna go on my Instagram. I start taping somewhere in it. <laughs> it's going up on my Insta. That's what's up. <laughs> I mean, I can't copy and paste right now. KK, put it in my DMs. You know, put it in my DM. Oh, flip you. You guys are wild. This got wild in here. I feel bad now that I got to go, you know? Like, I was just planning on wrapping up our International Women's Day celebration, and you guys wrapped it up like crazy. Now I feel like I want to stay online just so you guys can get more favorites and stuff. It's the guilt. I have the guilt. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm dead, right? It's guilt. I always feel like I try to stay online. Yeah, well, you know, I always try to stay online. Thank you, BG Pull Up. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I mean, for real. Thank you so much. Wow. Wow. You got wild in here. I didn't know it was my, oof, it was my turn. Oh, how do I get to be part of this, this drive by? I'm just going to have to find out when were you doing driver buys? Remember us. Listen, oh, it'll be hard to forget, you know? Have you met your leader? <laughs> have you met the leader of your clan? <laughs> I mean, have you? Listen, there's I've been very lucky, lucky to have met some very funny and clever people on this app. And uh you know, I I have I have some specific people that I've loved that have been incredible. Thank you, KK. You know, I've been very, very lucky to meet a few people that are can be clever without being hurtful, that can be funny without being offensive, that can be all of those things. And I think Greg has a very specific talent uh, to put all of the balls in the air and to juggle them with a finesse that only somebody who's truly uh, clever and intelligent can. And, you know, for that, I enjoy popping into Greg's stream in the morning, uh, especially when, see, I was uh, uh, on my way to work and uh, I see, you know, whatever, and I see Greg doing his, what he's doing, and I, it, it's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, you know, to to truly giggle and laugh, you know, that part. And you know, I can be low key a little bit of a troll myself at times. So I say I'm ninety percent kind and ten percent toxic. So that part, you know, <laughs> like I try to keep it. I just try to keep it more towards the kind piece and less on the toxic side. But thank you. <laughs> like, Hey, thank you, you guys. Wow, you guys are, it's still going. I keep coming, I don't understand what's happening right now. It's gone wild up in here. It's like Greg gone wild, not Greg Scott Bands. Okay, Greg's gone wild. I mean, is this where my shirt's coming off? I don't know what's happening. I gotta keep my clothes on. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> Yeah, this is a great time for everybody to hit these guys with a favorite. Broke gang up in here. Do not play with them. 
Do not, you do not want to re meet the iron staff of Greg. He's got a big pipe. Of, I meant, uh, <laughs> like a big hammer. Uh, oh shit. I meant his hammer swings hard. I meant, I'm going to hell. Okay, that's what I meant. <laughs> He does lay pipe. <laughs> it's me picking on people around me for me. Ooh, ooh. Nashy, thank you. You guys, please go through and favorite everybody in this gift this list. I just got rolled up on by a whole, a whole group called the Broke Gang. That's Broke Gang being so broke. Dead. Thanks, Greg. Thank you, Don. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Pretty. Who's else in this list? There's a whole group of you. Thank you, BG Pull Up. Thank you, TNT. Thank you, Katie. Thank, thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Spicy. Thank you, Don. Did I miss everybody? Leon. I hope I didn't miss anybody. I appreciate you guys. Thank you coming through and loving on me and for real there's some days where i just wonder if i'm just banging my head against the wall so you know it's it's what a surprise on international women's day too thank you you know not today <laughs> ah thank you guys you know, uh, no, you're just making me feel, making me feel a little hot and a little horny, okay? Can we all calm down just a little bit? I don't, listen, you don't need a 45-year-old getting hot and horny. This is a bad situation for all of you, okay? I'm going to start having sweats and stuff. Like, I'm already feeling sweaty, okay? I'm feeling a little sweaty, okay? I'm gonna need y'all to calm down. All right, can I get y'all? <laughs> Where's your leader at? Ugh, that leader of yours, okay? Not when he drives that pickup truck, okay? <laughs> you know he's like. <laughs> Uh-oh, not the eyes at me. Oh, don't be throwing no eyes at me, Greg, okay? I can drive a big pickup truck, too, okay? I can get one, too. I feel like a hot flash, okay? This is like, so exciting, it's giving me hot flashes. I mean... <laughs> I th holy shit, I think... I think I still have one ovary that still works. I just felt it twitch. Okay, I think I just, I, holy shit, I think it maybe one still works. <laughs> SC. <laughs> Wait, oh my God, please, I, I'm not ready for this. I thought we were done and now it's starting again. This twitching ovary situation. Oh my God. Is it, it's going to get, look, these hot flashes keep coming. <laughs> Don't make me send my 17 year old to the store to get me some ice. I'm still going to hate you all. I mean, do you want me to call her to the basement? I'm going to call her down here and be like, listen, my ovary, it's twitching. I feel hot. <laughs> Ah, I talked about Justice here. So this is our last guest of the night. Uh, she's going to come and tell us now about uh, an amazing woman, I think. If you're ready, Top Bad Justice, request the box. Uh, <laughs> what, what are you talking about, the hot flashes or the ovary twitch? Listen, I mean... You know, 
Greg, you know, he does that. All right, here's a uh, here's top badge S. Let's invite her in. Uh, soon she's our special last special guest of the night. Hello, S. Hi. So we want to hear about who is an important woman in your life or historical woman and why they're important to you. Okay. I actually thought about this long and hard and I'm very excited because I want to celebrate for International Women's Day, women in STEM. And if you're not familiar with what STEM means, um, it's science, technology, and math, uh, and engineering, sorry, engineering and math, that spells STEM. And the person that I want to celebrate is actually Hedy Lamar. Oh, okay. Get so, in here then. I don't know if people are aware, but Hedy Lamar was a real, um, uh, what is it like a pinup uh, bombshell during the twenties when she was in acting, but she's also the reason. One of the reasons we have Wi-Fi, we can attribute Wi-Fi to her. So here's the thing that I want to do because we're all on the internet. This is really how we're connected is through this app, and I want to celebrate the fact that this woman that the very unexpected has contributed in such a way to technology and our ability to connect. Ta-da! So, so today, okay, for so International have, uh, Women's Day, I encourage uh, girls and you know women to get into technology and to um, really kind of embrace being um, scientists and all that kind of stuff. Great. I mean, it's just amazing how you can, you can be also what also this shows us too, is that you can be uh, even a sex symbol, a pinup sex symbol, and still be more than one thing. You can still not be like a complete nerd or, you know, like exactly it's possible for a woman to also be very sexy and also be very intelligent at the same time, you know? And then this goes, like, we all have different uh, things that we're dealing with or throwing up in the air on any given day. So I love that top badge. S. Thank you, thank you. And I'm thank so you. grateful, especially because I think that women like Kitty Commander and others on the app that hold all of these events all the time honestly the effort of bringing everybody together i'm also thankful i want to celebrate you <laughs> oh thank you. i just got celebrated by an entire drive-by this <laughs> broke gang come over here and ganged up on me and i told them they were making my ovary twitch and i said i got a hot show yay <laughs> <laughs> Get the vape purse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank, thank you. you guys. Can you guys please favorite us? Hit her with a fave. Um, that ends our Women's International Women's Day uh, program, I guess you would call it. It's our celebration of women internationally uh, around the world, typically on March the 8th, no matter what day it falls on. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, Women celebrated from around the world. It kind of came through originally through the Red Cross kind of as a day to understand like women in the labors, like labor fields, like things like mills and factories and stuff not being paid, um, but contributing towards things. So um, it really came out of kind of the labor movement from way back, way back when, um, without getting too much historical information and throwing at you. Um, but it was a way that, you know, least I'm being paid the same as another person in my field is, right? And thank God. Now, there are other things that I would never want to do or be in at all, but uh, I appreciate um, women all around the world uh, who are parents, who are mothers, that are contributing towards the success of amazing little citizens.
situations, whether they're in employment that's monetary or in their homes and creating uh, beautiful homes for people to grow their children in or the people that they care about their lives in, no matter what that looks like and what part of the world that they're from, uh, knowing that they're giving that love and kindness to their families, their friends and the people around them and to the greater world to spread compassion and love. And, um, and in this way, I think women are probably fierce as fuck and uh, don't take any shit. So uh, love and compassion is an incredible thing. And so uh, I celebrate women worldwide today as well. And please go through and favorite everybody in my gifters list. Thank you so much to Greg and all of my participants today. I want to wish you well. I will maybe try to stream later tonight again, but I do have some other things that I've also promised to be in myself tonight. So I got a ball, I got a bolt, but I will be back later tonight, I think. So thank you so much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Happy winners, happy International Women's Day. And um, I'll catch you on the flip side, meow. Brrr.